Mental Fox here with another episode in my playthrough of The Outer Worlds. Thank you so much for joining me again. As you can see, we're on the Unreliable. And uh, some of my team members are sitting here. And uh, it's funny that uh, Felix and Ellie just made the same movement because they're also wearing basically the same armor. Aren't they cute? Let's go back to Monarch. The reason we're going to go back to Monarch is because we are still working on this quest for Neoka. For reasons I still don't understand, we're supposed to go back and lure out some kind of mantasaur. Uh, I guess maybe that's where uh, Nyoka's old base is. Maybe it's been overrun by mantasaurs or something. I don't know. But we need to go back to Monarch for that, and that is exactly what we're going to do. Let's see if I can hurt myself here. <laughs> it just cracks me up. My vacuum tubes require evacuating. No, no, not those. The ones in port. Yes, there. Thank you. And while you're at it, could you switch my binaries to... That. Exactly. I haven't felt this clean and efficient since Captain Hawthorne installed my sub-alternate auxiliary backup processor. Okay, well these two are really getting to know each other. Let's get the heck out of here. Leave them alone. Uh, Monarch is where we're going, so let us go there, and, um, I actually don't know where to land, to tell you the truth. Um, probably Cascadia. I don't know. We'll go to Cascadia. That's probably going to be closest to where these we're mantisars are. Cascadia, Captain. Cascadia. Uh, very cool place. I dig it. Do you think I want to store in my lockers? Um, whoops. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm going to put the Montauk back in here. I don't see myself ever using this. Uh, I still have never used that thing. Mind Control Ray is pretty awesome, even though I haven't used it in a while. And, uh, yeah, there we go. We'll just hang on to this other stuff that we've got. Ooh. Um, Anta Manta Ray. What am I carrying around here? I've got the uh, shrink ray, which I should store that. That was fun for a second, but it really doesn't do much. I still haven't used a Saltuna Seer either. And we know the Raptodont does a really nice job against uh, certain enemies on this planet. So let's go ahead and uh, store this uh, shrink ray. Okay. All right. Okay. Warning, dangerous. Okay, we are definitely going to take Nyoka with us. So Nyoka's coming with us, and um, uh, Max could probably use, or Sam, <laughs> I keep getting these two mixed up. I, Sam could uh, probably use a little bit of a breather after uh, getting into the, whoa, nooks and crannies of Ada. Boy, the music is already scary here. Already scary stuff, but. Uh, quiet mode. Entering quiet mode. Okay, so let's look at the map and see where the heck we're supposed to go. Um, we're supposed to go here, so I'm thinking that actually Fallbrook might be a better place to go to. Uh, actually, let's uh, fast travel to Cascadia Turnpike. We'll go there. We can't take our ship there, but that's okay. We'll just fast travel over there real quick. And then we'll walk from here, uh, right in that direction. Uh, hey, let's check with this guy again. You want to buy something? Well, what do you got? Word is that I'm to give you a bit of a discount on account of you being real helpful with some hush hush lab. That's right, man. Give me a discount. You want to buy something? What do you got, man? Sure, show me what you got. Well, let's look at his weapons here, and it doesn't look like he's selling that weapon that I really want to buy. I mean, he's got tactical shotgun too, um, but um, yeah, not. Uh, He's got, also got the level two of the heavy machine gun. So, uh, boy, I sure did miss my chance to buy that cool, cool weapon from him. Sure looks that way. Uh, let's walk in this direction and see if we can't figure out how to figure out how to get to where it is we need to go. Maybe go up here, um, up the hill here. Sure do feel like I'm walking slow. Oh, look, there's a uh, Manta Queen over there. But I don't think that's the Manta Queen we came here to deal with, so... Um, let's see if we can't just walk right past this one. Uh, 
So the terminal here. And I think we did come here last time and I couldn't get in. But uh, this time I guess we're going to be able to get in here. So it should be interesting. A little disappointed that uh, Nyoka and Sam aren't speaking to each other right now, but oh well. Whew. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh. I haven't set foot in here since... Well, I'm ready. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> She's hiding behind Sam. Well, uh, error, ownership data corrupted, storage data something, 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 enter passcode, Caron. Passcode accepted. Passcode accepted. Transition to Mantasaur Hive. That does not sound like a place I want to go, but uh, go there we must. To the Mantasaur Hive. All right, is there a map of this place? Uh, yeah, looks like uh, there's three something or others we're supposed to be doing here. What are we doing anyway? Um, we're supposed to head out to her old base, find their remains and retrieve medallions of um, Opal's and Clara's bodies. So I guess that's what we're doing here. Uh, Mantisar feeding grounds, Opal's over there, Clara is over there. I wonder how useful Sam's gonna be. I'll find out, I guess. I, I can't really do anything with him. I can't give him a weapon. Can't change that. Um, Sam's equipment is permanently attached to his frame and cannot be removed, so we can't give him any armor. Uh, he has no perks available. And um, I've got him at medium, close range, and passive. Because he doesn't really have a ranged weapon. I mean, he's got this one that's called ranged weapon. Um, but, um, it's funny that I can compare it to something, but, um, I don't know what its range is. It's probably not very great, but oh well. We'll see how this goes. Well, here is a shovel and some energizing ointment. Maybe I'm going to use the shovel to dig these bodies up. Find their remains. Got to do a little bit of digging. So I did not know that mantasaurs hung out in caves. But apparently they do. Mantasaur feeding grounds. Probably not a place you really want to hang out or visit. Right? Feeding grounds. Or maybe uh, they'll be full from all the feeding and then they won't want to mess with us. There's a Mantisaur drone down there. Let's see if we can take one of them out here. Executes. 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 Okay. So that took four shots, I think. And here they come. Attacking contaminant. All right. Oh, yeah. See Max squirting stuff on him. Or Sam. Damn it. His name is Sam. Oh, wow. That was pretty cool, Sam. Oh, I think we took one of them out. Did we? That was it? <laughs> we just cleared out the base, man. That was it. Very simple. Very easy. Let me repair my weapon here. That was it, man. We cleared out the base. That was one of the things we were supposed to do. It's cleared out. When you're ready, head to the feeding grounds to disperse the pheromones and lure out the queen. Okay, so we're not really done yet. Not really. The queen is what we really came here for. So over there is Opal. Over there's Clara. Mantisaur feeding grounds. Oh, wow. Hm. I don't know 
what that is. I'm sure that, um... Noka doesn't mind me taking this stuff, you know. She doesn't mind. She don't care. Oh, well, here's Opal. Uh, Opal's Charon Medallion. This is the medallion re you retrieved from Opal's remains. It is inscribed with the letters Charon. So I've taken that. It's picking stuff up left and right. Ooh, this is going to take five of my freaking mag picks, man. But I'm going to get one back. We can see inside of this bin before we even Nicely done. pack into it. A few more things here. Bypass shunt. And, uh, ooh, some energy cells on the ground here. Some ointments. Replenishing our mag pick stores. Where's the queen going to come from? Down that tunnel there, maybe? Well, here's the body of Clara. She also has a medallion on her. Okay, well, we've searched the hive for remains of Nyoka's friends. And now all that left, all that remains is for us to inspect the feeding grounds and uh, disperse those pheromones. That's all that remains. Oh, pistol on the ground there. So maybe that's where the queen will come from. Maybe. Probably. Not ready to lay out those uh, pheromone glands just yet. Still some looting to do. Use up yeah. five more of my freaking mag picks, man. Let's see what's up here. Some, um, is this the way we came in? Yeah, this is the way we came in. Okay. All right, so before I mess with that, let's go down here and see if there's anything interesting down here. Just check it out, just see. Well, I'm not seeing anything, but I have to think this is where the queen's gonna come from. Maybe she'll come from that hole in the top of the cave there. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea if I did an F5 before I did this. Okay, let's F5 it. And we are going to place the glands. Well, this is the spot. You know, I thought I'd be angry. I thought I'd storm in here in a rage and exterminate all these bugs and everything would be all right in the end. But I ain't. I'm mostly just empty. A little sad, maybe. Yeah. The first night Hayes and I spent in here, we knew it was home. It's safe. It's got a nice chill to it. But mostly, it doesn't stink of sulfur. Mm-hmm. Just let her talk. We could say, you know, it did feel a bit different when we walked in, or I'm with you there, I hate that smell. Let's just let her talk. Monarch folks often joke about it. Not because of the smell or the grittiness it leaves in your throat. Not because of the headaches or the coughing. It's because there's no escaping it. It's life here, and there ain't anything you can do about it. But here, somehow the sulfur never made it. The nights we spent in here felt like vacations. So we started building. Yeah. Hmm. Tell me more. 
We hauled in steel, hired sublight folk to help. That's how we met Anders and Opal. They stuck around after our contract was up. Opal liked camping. Anders liked chasing her tail. Four of us for a while, scraping together what bits we could to build our home. Then came Rebecca, a sawbones out of the Cascadia survivors, who took a kindness to Hayes. And Clara, her little sister. I'll admit I wasn't keen on taking her on at first, but for a teenager, she was surprisingly capable. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Uh, a teenager out here? Believe me, I had my complaints. She had a head for numbers, helped us trade hides for food and materials, negotiated contracts, turned out to be mighty useful. Clara, Hayes, Anders, Rebecca, Opal, and me. Six folks, one name, one family, Charon. Despite Monarch trying to kill us day in and day out, we managed to belong. Hmm. I'm sorry they aren't here to see us kick some Manta ass. Let's do this. Or tell you what, I'll tell you what don't belong, the bugs. Let's clear them out, shall we? Or you were a family. I'm sorry they're gone, Nyoka. Let's say that. Me too, Captain. But I'm starting to think that maybe I found another. Now let's get to shooting before I get all sentimental. Yeah, let's hope we don't end up all dead. Okay, okay, here we go. So the um, the Manta Queen is on the move. Oh, it's on the move, all right. Manta Queen on the move. Manta Queen is coming out to take a whiff of some pheromones. Oh, he's got friends. Manta Queen, oh, lots of friends. Manta Queen has lots of friends. Two, three hits to kill a freaking Manta Pillar? That's not good. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> I kind of like his move. Oh, yeah. Just stand right in front of it. Nice. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I want to try with the Saltuna Seer. Oh, he killed it. Oh, sorry, Sam. Oh, look at that. That's fun. Got a Manta Pillar over here. Oh, the Saltunus here is uh, quite uh, satisfying, I must say. Hello, Manticolor. How are you? I'm going to cook you up for dinner. And we're stalking. That was really easy. <laughs> oh my gosh. The thing was dead before I really even got to use any of my fun weapons. Jeez. What a wuss. All right, now what? Now we're supposed to speak to Nyoka. Neok the Manta Queen is dead. And you've recovered Clara and Opal's medallions. Check in with Nyoka. Okay, we'll do that as soon as I finish looting all these bodies. Not that I really expect to find much, but uh, we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> that was so easy. Maybe S Sam does more damage than I thought he did, you know? Hunting Rifle Ultra. Is that what I'm looking for? Hunting Rifle Ultra? No, that's the Hunting Rifle. Damn it! It's not what I want. I want Deadeye Assault Rifle off alt Ultra. That's what I want, man. I'm so excited I can barely talk. Holy hell. That Manta Queen was... Well, getting ready to travel or something? Luggage packed. Okay. Well, there you have it. Very simple, very easy. Nyoka. Well, let's talk to Nyoka. I wish these were more auspicious circumstances, but at least we're all here. This bringing them together, burying them. This is the kind of thing Hayes would have done. That makes it stupid. By all accounts, we should have left well enough alone, but that also makes it right. Captain, thank you. Well, you're welcome. Uh, you're welcome, Nyoka. You mind if we rest a spell before we head out? I'd, I'd like to bury Opal and Clara proper before I lay everyone's medallions to rest. Um, I'd rather just head out. <laughs> what a jerk. Uh, you're leaving the medallions here? I suppose that's wise. Go ahead. Or, of course, although I think you should hold on to the medallions. Yeah, I think you should hold on to them. Why leave them here? Hold on to them. What? Why? Them's painful memories, Captain. Well, you're going to have the memories anyway. 
Uh, they'll help remind you of both the good and the bad, not just the bad. Or they'd like to be, be remembered once in a while, even if it hurts. Or what if someone finds the site, they'll just steal them. I, I like to think they'd like to be remembered. Huh. That's... That ain't a bad point. All right, Captain. Thanks. Sure. All right, well, we've leveled up. And, um... This is where she has decided to uh, put the bodies. Right here we've got... Clara Hodges, the closest thing to a sister that I ever lost. Jackson Hayes, his most egregious crime, who was having the gall to die before me. Anders Watsworth, between raptodons and women, he died doing what he loved, chasing tail. <laughs> okay. Rebecca Hodges, at the very least, you came back to us in the end. And Opal Obliette, one of the very few who deserved better. Well, nicely done, Nyoka. Nicely done. You know, I'd been assuming this entire stay on your ship thing isn't a permanent arrangement. Part of my contract? That said, you ain't been eaten or shot to death yet. Says a lot about the stability of your future. And to be honest, I'm about sick of sleeping on bar stools. So how's about this? You keep letting me stay on that ship of yours, and I'll keep shooting at the things you point at. Mm, you know, actually, I think it's about time this contract ends. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, that sounds good to me, Nyoka. Outstanding. All right. Okay, well, that finishes up our quest with Nyoka. And, um, that one was called, um, Star-Crossed Troopers. You defeated the Manta Queen and retrieved the last two medallions belonging to Nyoka's old crew, helping her gain some much-needed closure. Nice. Uh, we just leveled up, so we have some points to spend. And what was I trying to get to? I was trying to get to 60 and something. Was it science, maybe? Science, if I get to 60, I do a little bit more damage. I mean, I guess that's good. And then I have lie and intimidate, which neither one of those really seems to jump out at me as all that great either. So I'm kind of wondering why I put points into lie and intimidate and why I put points into science. I mean, apparently I felt like I wanted to get to... Um, here, although um, science does give my uh, science weapons more effects, more damage. So let's go ahead and get our science up to 60. And um, I guess I'm going to... Um, I don't know. I guess I'm just going to trust my previous self and keep adding more points to these, I guess. I don't know. Just really engineering is kind of surprisingly low, actually. Um, this one here, I, I'm sure I've mentioned this before. If we get to 60, there's a 20% chance that items you repair will become pristine. I don't really want my weapons that I'm using to be pristine because I'm not going to sell them, but it does increase their durability as well. So maybe I will start putting stuff into engineering. Okay. There we go. That sounds pretty good to me. Well, we are done here, right, Sam? Battery levels are fully charged. <laughs> good work, Sam. Thank you, customer Sam. We guarantee it's the only sanitation and maintenance unit you'll ever need. Okay. Well, um, yeah, we could just fast travel from here and uh, head right on back to our ship. No sense in walking out of here and um, risk getting shot or something. Although we could walk out here and um, check in with this guy that sells stuff again and see if what he sells is randomized in any way. Possibly 
he'll be selling that weapon that I so wish I would have bought long ago. I don't think that there's anything else for us to do here on Monarch. Uh, I mean, look at this. We've got three quests remaining. We've got this one here, which takes place on Byzantium. This one, Byzantium. This one, Byzantium. So we're going to go to Byzantium. But uh, like I said, I want to run down here and uh, check in with... Um, what's his face again? And uh, see if he's selling anything good. If I can remember which direction he's in. He's right down here, isn't he? Yeah, there they are over there. Okay, cool. All right, dude. You want to buy something? Uh, show me what you got. And looking pretty much like the exact same stuff that was here before. And I guess that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Let's sell off some of this crap I picked up. I don't want this thing. Uh, yes, it's hunting rifle off ultra, but that's not what I'm using. Plasma rifle, bolter pistol, flamethrower, shovel. <laughs> it's made for digging in dirt, but you can also swing it into faces. And um, that'll do that. Armor. Sell some of this stuff off. Okay. Well, back to our ship. And uh, let's get the heck out of here before this mantisaur decides to come over and say hi. So back to the old unreliable, and then we are going to go to Byzantium unless something else comes up. I wouldn't be surprised. Let's see. I believe I hear Felix and Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave serial. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to say the same thing we heard him say last time, but let's go up here anyway and see. Oh my gosh, Felix, you've got to hear this. Guess who the villain was in this week's Virginia Yang Girl Detective? Mr. Bertie Holcomb, that tall spoiler! That's the episode with Ruth Bellamy, right? Been meaning to catch that. Hmm, okay, well, good talk. Good talk, team. Um, let's see here. Is like this... Uh, yeah, I love it, man. This here is, uh, Nyoka's place. And, um... Here we go. Check this out. Here is Clara's Caron medallion. Clara had a heart so pure no amount of sulfur could taint it. Anderson's medallion. I always told him chasing women around would get him in trouble. Hayes's medallion. Hayes was the best self-sacrificing saint of a man I ever met. Opal's. Opal could take wrapped meat and make you believe it was worst worst. I don't know if that's a compliment or not. And then finally, Rebecca's, given the chance, I hope she'd have come back to us. So there you go. She kept the medallions, and there they hang in her cubicle slash dormitory. And um, one thing we got is... Um, we got her new perk here, this the crew perk for completing her quest. Uh, increase your critical hit chance when fighting creatures. So that's what we get if we're traveling with Nyoka. Uh, Parvati, we have not gotten her quest yet, I don't think, right? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Whereas Parvati here only has one, two, three, four, five. Um, and I know that somewhere it tells you what her ability or thing is, but I don't remember where you find it. You know what I'm saying? I, I just remember seeing somewhere where you see that information, but I don't remember where where it was. Yeah. 
I know I saw it somewhere, though. But I'm certainly not seeing it now. Ellie. Uh, we don't even know what her quest is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't remember where I saw that. Oh well, anyway, uh, our journal, like I said, Byzantium is the only place remaining to go. And um, one of these, let's see, this one, I guess this is the one for Lilia. Yeah, right here. I wonder if she'll have more work for us to do uh, after we complete that. I am, oh, let's see here, whoa. I wanna look in my quarters and just see if there's anything new in here. Oh, I could close the door. Oh, I didn't even notice that I could close the door. And I don't know if I ever even noticed that it said it's Captain's Quarters up there either. So there you go. But uh, we can shut the door and get a little bit of privacy. Anything new in here? For a minute there, I thought I heard a clock ticking. Uh, well, I don't see anything new in here. And um, there's no new messages. Good to see you, boss. Okay. Okay, to Byzantium we go. Very exciting. Very exciting to go to a new place. Byzantium is um, also on Terra 2. I wonder when this place will open up, if ever. You'd think it would open up at some point. And then is this a place we could go to? Or is it just there for looks? I don't know, man. Byzantium freight port landing pad. Off we go. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. Okay. Cool. You anything new you want to say? Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? She has nothing mm -hmm. <laughs> to say. Okay, so... Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. Finally. Since we're in Byzantium, there's something I've been meaning to do. I figured as much. And uh, what's that? I haven't actually talked to my folks in a while. Shocking, right? It is shocking. Anyway, it's probably about time I paid them a visit. Given the dangerous life I lead, they've got to be worried sick. Yeah. Okay. Uh, funny you don't strike me as the type who keeps in touch, or of course, just let me know how I can help. Sure, how can I help? Whoa, let's calm down. I'm not asking for a favor or anything. I'm just suggesting we stop by. When we're in the neighborhood. See, I'm originally from Byzantium, born and raised... I know that probably comes as a big surprise. A mm, little bit. Uh, and now you just want to catch up with them? Or really, I never would have guessed? Or actually, I can see it. Hmm. Uh, you know, I don't think I would have guessed that. This is why I have to see them. They'll hardly recognize me. Okay. I don't see why you can't go see them when it's convenient. Or I'm proud of you, Ellie. Of course you should reconnect with your parents. Or absolutely not, I forbid it. Oh, gosh, Ellie, I'm so proud of you. Reconnect is a strong word. And, uh, I was thinking you'd come, too. Mmm. You want me to meet your... Why would you want me to meet your parents? Because it would be fun. <laughs> um, okay, we'll go, or we have work to do. Level with me, Ellie. What's this really about? Or it's not going to get weird, is it? Just, just tell me what this is about, Ellie. It's, well... They know me as Marilyn the Surgeon. They don't know Ellie the Pirate Sawbones. But you, your authentic rabble, uh, true riffraff, when they me? see you, they'll get it. Okay. Um, so you want to show your plebe friend off to your fancy parents real mature. Or gee thanks, or Ellie, I'm flattered. Thank you. Um, gee thanks? I only wish I could pull it off as well. I'm riffraff? It's not going to get weird, is it? Of course not. I mean, not unless you want to bring a feral canid or a mantis or a leash. 
That'd make a real impression. Well, we'll go then. Great. And when we get there, draw out your rough edges a bit. If you've got an outfit you haven't washed in a while, maybe one with some <laughs> blood stains, wear that one. Uh, what? Oh, and help yourself to the good snacks <laughs> and put your feet on the coffee table. Mother hates that. Uh-huh. It's almost like you want me on my worst behavior, but uh, yeah, I get the idea, Ellie. Just know that I've got plenty more suggestions if you need them. Anything else? Mm, well, um, what can you tell me about Byzantium? It's like one of those stuffy art gallery pieces. Looks okay from far off, but once you get close, you realize it's just some mismatched shit everyone's agreed to overpay for. Even the bribes are overpriced. Okay. Um, why did you leave? The real question is why didn't I leave sooner? There's all these invisible rules, and everyone spends all their energy just trying not to break them. Hmm. Well, what do you mean? I was a top-tier surgeon, but I could hardly open a pack of gauze without ten people signing off first. Hmm. Yeah, um, that would probably drive me crazy. Now you see why I left. People call Byzantium the Jewel of Halcyon, but really, it's just paste. Everything's polished and bureaucracy. Take a close look and you'll see it's deader than anywhere else in the colony. Hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, it must have been interesting growing up there anyway, right? Interesting like a colonoscopy. I trained as a surgeon. More my folks' idea than mine, but I made the best of it. Yeah. Um... Sounds like there's a but to this story. Lots of them, unfortunately. I even sculpted a few. <laughs> Turns out Byzantines are more concerned with having square shoulders and a good profile than, well, anything else. Well, since you seem to know Byzantium, why don't you give me a lay of the land? Don't trust anyone, don't touch anything, and whatever you do, don't show your teeth when you smile. Why not? People are extremely competitive about cosmetic dentistry. It can get ugly. Wow. Okay. Well, enough about Byzantium. That's what I've been saying. So, uh, I feel like you have something you want to say about Harlow. What did I tell you? His down with the man shtick was just an act. No one who yammers that much means half of it. Hmm. Yeah. Um, it's hard to know who to trust or don't sound so excited that was Felix's friend. Or no one uses me like that. Um, you know, that was Felix's friend. Obviously not. And hmm. better for Felix to know that now rather than become the next Trask. Fair enough. Just because Harlow turned out to be crooked doesn't mean everyone's like that. Or yeah, better keep people at arm's length. Well, I mean, not everybody's crooked. Don't get all mushy on me now. Come on, what did we just learn? People look out for their own interests. It's a fundamental law of nature. Same as gravity and conservation of motion. Okay. Well, I don't feel like you could live your life thinking the worst of everyone. Sure I can. In fact, I bet you I live a lot longer. <laughs> uh, maybe you're right, but I'd rather try for something better. Or ever consider that looking out for others can be in your best interest or words to live by. Um, I don't know, man. Do you ever think about that? Ever consider that looking out for others can be in your best interest? I'm warning you, that reverse psychology stuff doesn't work on me. <laughs> She's warning me. <laughs> uh, even you never really go it alone. You usually throw your lot in with a crew, or it's got to get lonely, only ever looking out for yourself. Um, I don't think she cares about being lonely, but she does seem to always travel with a crew. Sure do. And unlike you, Captain, the rest of us don't get a big fancy room with wall-to-wall -wall windows. But let's forget about that, please. Anyway, you really want to tell me you're helping the scientist because you think he'll save the colony? Uh, hmm. As a matter of fact, I am, or I'm not explaining myself to you, or no, but that's not the point. Uh, am I helping the scientist because I think he'll save the colony? Um, I mean, I'm suspicious. Yes, I'm very suspicious. Um, 
But, um, I mean, do I really think he's going to save the colony? I don't know, that might be a bit naive, but uh, even if I don't think he's going to save the colony, I mean, why not help him? He's paying me. You're right. The point is that self-interest is like self-pleasure. No one wants to <laughs> admit it, but everyone has a hand in it. Enough about Harlow, though. Anything else? Um, that's it. Let's, uh, let's go. So, now we have Ellie's quest. I've been waiting for Ellie's quest. Companion quest. Ellie. Oh, it's called the Low Crusade. Ellie wants you to take her to visit her parents in Byzantium when you're in the area. We're supposed to vi visit Ellie's parents in Byzantium. Ellie hasn't spoken to her parents in a long time, and she thinks it's high time she check on them. With you in tow, of course. We're going to make that our first quest because... I think it would be good if we completed her quest first and got her extra perk so that we could face whatever we may be facing here in Byzantium or other places. So uh, definitely going to take um, Ellie with us and um, we are going to take... Um, who am I going to take with me? I'm not going to take Parvati because we're going to take her uh, later when we go to the Haberdashery. And, um, let's see, who else has a stake here? Nyoka really doesn't. I don't think Felix really does either. Nobody else really has a stake here. Um, but I think it'd be interesting to hear what Max has to say about Byzantium. So let's take him. Must be a big place. Okay. We are at the Byzantium Freight Port landing pad. You have anything you want to say, Max? Yes, you caught me ruining. Okay, no. Nope. He has nothing to say. Something on your mind? And she has nothing to say either. Oh, I'm just checking in. It's okay. Uh, there's a warehouse and uh, terminal here. There is a construction mechanical over there. Over there is a workbench, I believe. And, uh, let's see here. Freight Port 9. There's some corporate troopers over there. Put my weapon away. Get out the map. Ooh, neat. Look at this place. Ooh, it has two floors, too. Oh, this looks pretty cool. All right. Let's, uh, let's start walking around, checking this place out. Somebody standing over here. Carmen Imagawa. Why does that name sound familiar? I don't know if we've heard her name mentioned before or whether I'm just thinking of something else, but uh, she sure is cool. Let's talk to her. Do you mind? I'm needing someone. Oh, okay. Roll your eyes and sigh dramatically, or yeah, Phineas sent me. Oh, so this is our contact with Phineas. Um, I don't know. Phineas sent me? I guess that's where we heard the name from him. Shh. No names, okay? The Phoenix is a wanted man and the board has eyes everywhere in Byzantium. The Phoenix? Yeah. That's my code name for, you know, our mutual friend. <laughs> okay. Ooh, what's your code name? Oh, I'm Golden Eagle. Ooh, I like it. Oh, do I have a code name? I want a code name. Um, yeah. <laughs> I named you Cuckoo. <laughs> no way. I'm Golden Eagle. You could be Cuckoo. Seriously, or enough of this, you have information for me, don't you? No way, man. I'm Golden Eagle. That doesn't even make... Fine. Fine. Does this mean I'm supposed to have one, too? Fine. But make it a really good one. Let's go with... Rufus Hummingbird. <laughs> Get it. Code names are for amateurs anyway. Too late. I've already marked it off. Can't just go. She marked it off. Anyway, you're looking to make contact with Minister uh, Magpie, right? I guess I don't remember. I should warn you. It won't be easy. He spends most of his time in this estate, which is heavily guarded. Oh, okay. Ooh, there we go. Uh, looks like I've got work to do. Or how exactly did you get involved in all this anyway? Uh, can't you get me into the minister's estate or there's got to be a way to catch the minister someplace less protected? Well, how did you get involved in this Carmen Imagawa? I mean, Kaku. 
I've always been fascinated by birds. If you ever research Earth species, there are thousands of them. So colorful and distinct. They are. The other thing about birds, though, is their environmental indicators. Yeah? And when they die off, it's a sign that something's wrong. Exactly. Yeah. I started thinking about everything we see around Halcyon, and all the things we don't see. Hmm, like what? For starters, you rarely come across anyone living in Byzantium who wasn't born here, even though we get ships in all the time. Trust me, anyone with a lick of sense gets out of here as soon as possible. But most people don't. In fact, most people stay exactly where they start. Doesn't that seem strange to you? Hmm, yes, it does. And then there's the way nothing gets fixed. There used to be a suggestion box around <laughs> here. People would drop ideas in. Nothing ever came of them, of course. Yeah? Actually, that kind of sounds pretty normal, Carmen. Sure, that part is. That's why they install shredders in those boxes, after all. <laughs> but one day, the shredder broke. No one came to fix it. And since it wasn't working, we didn't have anywhere to file our complaints. So you can imagine how messy things got. Uh, <laughs> and? At first, management put up an out-of-order sign. But that just seemed to worry people. Like they were advertising something wasn't working. Why would the Golden City need suggestions for improvement? It's really so people can feel heard. Everyone's got something to complain about, you know? They eventually took the whole suggestion box sign down so that people didn't have any expectations about it. But they never fixed it. Never replaced it. Doesn't that seem odd to you? Who thinks this stuff up? <laughs> uh, yes, that seems odd. Or no, that's how things go around Halcyon, in case you didn't notice. Or <laughs> if you ask me, the suggestion box was pretty useless to begin with. No, she makes a good point that it's a, it's a place for people to complain. People like to complain. And if they have a place to complain, well, that's worth something, even if nobody's listening. People just like to complain. Um, but it doesn't seem strange that it wasn't replaced. That's how things go around here. Except that's not how they go. At least that's not how they're supposed to go in Byzantium. The whole episode made me wonder. If they can't fix something as simple as a suggestion box, what else aren't they fixing? After a while, I got connected with our mutual friend and started using my position here to feed him information when I could. That's it, really. Okay. <laughs> So, um, can't you get me into the minister's estate? Whoa, I'm not one of your B&E specialists. I just provide intelligence. Okay, that's debatable. <laughs> uh, what can you tell me? Some of the guards hang around Billingsley's house of inebriation between shifts. That place is still open? I used to study there during medical school. Maybe you could do some reconnaissance there. You know, swipe a key while nobody's looking. Oh, I can do that. Just remember, you didn't hear it from me. Hmm, okay. Well, uh, there's got to be a way to catch the minister someplace less protected. Afraid not. He almost never leaves his home and his guards never leave him. Hmm, okay. Well, looks like I've got work to do. Good hunting, Golden Eagle. Ooh, I'm Golden Eagle. Mm, I'm excited. Uh, I'm Golden Eagle. Well, there is a workbench over there. And if we look at our quest now, this City in the Stars quest, this is the main quest here. Uh, now that Phineas knows Minister Clark's been hoarding dimethyl soft oxide in Byzantium, he just needs you to get to the city and steal it. Easy. And we were supposed to meet with Phineas's contact. Phineas has an associate who can help you locate Minister Clark. This person works at the Byzantium docks, and that's who we just spoke with. Uh, optionally, we can speak to the minister's guards. Some of Minister Clark's guards hang out at a local bar. One of them might be able to provide some information regarding Clark's residence. But we do need to speak to Minister Clark. Minister Clark spends almost all of his time at his estate, which is under heavy guard. He may be hard to reach, but he's apparently been hoarding the colony's reserves of dimethyl sulfoxide. Lots of fun to be had in Byzantium. Lots of exploring to do. I am excited to explore a new place. It's one of my favorite things to do, after all. 
and we will get to exploring more of Byzantium in the next episode. I hope you join me in that episode, and I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, won't you let me know? Leave me a like or a comment. Thank you so much to those of you who take the time to do that. I really do appreciate that. Thanks for watching. I sure hope you join me again in the next episode.